All right, everybody. The follow-up to my uh, <clears throat> water softener repair video, as you can see, it's repaired, but um, then repair the control head. I have replaced it with a Fleck 5600 with a kind of minder. What that does is it makes that dial right there read how many gallons have gone through it and you set how many gallons uh, your resin load can take before it needs to be regenerated back here in a little margin error for a fudge factor and you set it there at that dial once that dial rotates through takes over runs a regen cycle uh, you figure in the fudge factor because it doesn't run in uh, the regen cycle until about 2 a.m. So it's triggered to go off <coughs> if you hit the number there. Anyways, so I still have the original brine tank, but of course it's still have the rain soft name on the brine tank. But you got to replace the uh, little pickup valve down there one too hard. I had to drill a little bit bigger size hole in the tank over here and uh, put an elbow on it and run it in. Not a big deal. Um, this right here just screws off the tank. Comes with a new set of distributors or a new distributor at the bottom of a, a screen that goes up here to make sure everything doesn't come out. Um, distributor takes standard three-quarter pipe. Um, old distributor that came out of here was the size that they don't use on the water softeners anymore as I understand it's like 13 16 or some oddball size like that but, uh, anyways the new size is three quarter pipe so I just went to the local home improvement store and and uh, <clears throat> got some three quarter pipe and some glue and threw it together down there you leave it free standing up here and it seals with a uh, o-ring into the base no big deal <clears throat> Um, so, uh, I got some test strips, uh, I probably should get a, a full-blown kit, but I got some test strips and set everything on this initially, according to the instructions. And, uh, unlike the other resins that were in there, I noticed a difference. Um, I didn't test the other resins with any kind of a kit or strips, but I tried the old-fashioned soap test where you take, a uh, regular water, you take your softened water, you put the same amount of soap in them for the same amount of water, you shake them up softened water should have more bubbles. I didn't get that with the other resins. I get it when I run these resins. So it's encouraging that it, everything just needed to happen. The other uh, rain soft head uh, had three, two or three things on it that were broken that were going to need repair. And I just thought, you know, I could probably go to the dealer and get it. I could probably JB weld some of it back together or, or find it wherever probably could have fixed the head but just sort of when that many things start going wrong to me it's just a, a sign of things to come so uh, Fleck head it was now I got everything uh, from um, a website called softenerparts.com and they've got some videos here on YouTube and uh, so go check them out pretty easy um, besides what you see here besides the head with the bypass valve, um, this Econominder portion is, is an option that came with the head. Uh, but I got the, the bypass valve, the head with the Econominder, uh, the distributor kit. I had to buy the pipe that goes down the middle. But I also got the resins, black tube, and the, <clears throat> the uh, fill tube for the brine tank in there along with that uh, fitting. I got all that from them. I forget what I paid. Um, it was a, it was a chunk of change, but uh, I basically recycled the tanks and ended up with a water softener that probably cost me another two to four hundred dollars to um, buy from somebody else. Not counting their installation and setup, and I'll, I'll do the installation and setup myself when I get ready. What I'm doing right now is I got to start the pool for the season. I haven't taken care of it, as you can see, and it's, <laughs> I hate showing it, but I haven't taken care of it, and so uh, i got to restart it, i got to fill it up, and I figured, well, I want to test the regen cycle, 
and it requires me to dump a lot of water and to see whether or not the, it'll regenerate the resin properly. So I'm going to dump it into the pool and see what happens. So that's what I'm doing. Uh, but so far it works. You guys have any questions? Let me know. Thanks.